phone Tracy. The police are on the Ken, get Tracy here now. I'm hardly in a position to call the shots. I mean, look at the place. Oh, please, Ken. Just just call him back and tell him you've made a mistake. Just wanton vandalism. But after everything that Tracy's done for you. Oh, yeah, she's a tall rock. Over. You're your own worst enemy. Oh, I've got a much worse enemy, believe me. Oh, uh, Ken Barlow, my daughter Tracy owns this shop. I heard Crash Bang Wallop came in and found Abby holding her broom. Abby Franklin, one of our frequent flyers. Officer Dibble. What happened? I don't know, I found a place like this. Then Ken walks in seconds later, puts two and two together and makes nine, nine, nine. You were wielding the broom. I was about to sweep up. Give a dog a bad name. All right, OK, it was me. That's more like it. Abby! Abby! Oh, Abby. If it's anything, but it may harm your defence if you do not mention one question, something you're later rely on in court. Anything you do say may be given in evidence. Good work, Ken. You're all that. Right. Oh, I'm sorry, love, but Abby vandalised the place, so I called the police, and then she ran off resisting arrest and see Anka. Oh, you idiot, Abby. Baffling, though, isn't it? I mean, self-destruction is one thing, but why take it out on you? Uh, I don't suppose social services are going to be very thrilled. But how on earth is she going to get the twins back now? Oh, look, I better go and clear this up. Uh, anyway, look, uh, are you all right? Bit of a slap in the face, isn't it? Yeah, I'm just I'm really worried about Abby. Well, that's very magnanimous of you. You know, when I found her wielding that broom, she was outraged that I found the police first, kept ranting on about why I hadn't called you. Oh, really? Yeah. So she's wanting your absolution. Anyway, I've got a meeting with Claudia, but I'll cancel it and come and help you. No, so. honestly, Dad, I'm better off just doing it on my own. Are you sure? Yes. Yeah. Plenty to say for yourself. Is that all we're going to get from you? No comment. No comment. Mr. Barlow says that he caught you red handed. That you'd already smashed the place up with a broom. What have you got to say to that? No comment. Attempted burglary, resisting arrest. We've got plenty of evidence. Are you sure you don't want to explain yourself? Offer some sort of defence? It might help you. No comment. Has anyone ever told you that you're your own worst enemy? Please. you come to confess everything. You're the best. I'll go and film any shall I about the car, the laptop, the CCTV. Oh, no, that's right. I can't because you're getting banged up again. We'll kill you. And what would it do to poor little Ames? Babe, I am sorry. I am truly sorry. I'm not going to press charges about the shop. It's too late. I'm in court on Friday. No. Nice thought, though. I'll nominate you for a Pride of Britain. Look, well, at least let me give you a lift home. And I'm going to smooth things over with Steve. You just need a bit of training. Mm. Anyone would think we were mates. I am your worst enemy and your biggest nightmare. <laughs>